Ooh. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Blockless server. This is MC Soup as always. We are here at my little compound which I did a little bit of work off camera. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I did a little bit of work off camera mostly because the work I was doing was mindless block placing and uh, I didn't want to bore the hell out of you guys and I I kinda did it in small chunks not one long sitting like I would take a a little bit of break from studying over the weekend when my ter as my term ended this week and um, I would hop on here, take about 10 minute break, and just mindlessly build, 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 build and then have, and finish each section. So here is our here's our walls. Um, I had the walkway. Here's something that I think is really cool. We have uh, a lava gateway, which works out very well, actually, to be quite honest. It's, um... It's very cool. Um... I shut it off, and it works very simple, pistons, lava system, nothing overly fancy. I'm going to re-engage it so it, um, so it keeps uh, the lava flow, but yeah, so let me just pop onto the other side. So the design of these is very simple. It's just a water wall. Very simple, not not too many th thrills, but um, I actually think it turned out quite nice. And on this side, the idea, at least the the RP or the storyline of it is. Um, that uh, people climb up these walls on this side to get up to the top of the uh, to the walls to defend the defend the compound oh god don't know where I'm going oh good it's becoming night I can show you some of the cool things I've done let's ender pearl onto these trees I think it looks, it just looks really cool. Now, if I do something, if I change the brightness down, now you get the full effect. Like, it is pitch black out here. I've eliminated all torches outside of the walls um, for a little while just so I can see how this place looks at night and that looks really really badass in my opinion and the water almost seems it it, it glows which is what I wanted oh underneath actually I can uh, Into pearl over there and show you glowstone and uh, it gives a really cool light effect we gotta be careful the mobs could be spawning out here but um, how I did this is basically I would dig this trench 
put half slabs and then sand. And then I would build the half slab wall. Once I had the half slab wall built, then I knocked out all the sand, knocked out this, and then put the, um, put ice here. Let me actually bring the brightness back up. And bring it back down. 30%. Screenshot. Uh, it does take forever and a half for the lava wall to uh, go up and down but to be quite honest it doesn't bother me too badly it's actually pretty quick to deploy but it takes forever to uh, make it passable by normal means let's sleep many of you uh, may have noticed the uh, Apparently, I still have some dark spots, which we're going to take care of eventually. You may have noticed the little gravel path. Hi there, buddy. Ooh, he dropped little booties. Mine. Oh, no, enchanted, but hell, leather boots. But, uh, I've got the, uh, little, this little dirt, not, uh, cobble and gravel pathway going, uh, out. I may, I'm deciding whether or not to continue it, uh, going, how far to continue it side to side. I might, one thing I'm, one thing I'm tempted to do, at least on this side, is, uh, drive it out to maybe, like, here. And then uh, drive it all the way to the mountain. So I can have a pathway. Um, question. Did any any of my subs, anyone who's watching this, did you guys ever watch um, Digimon when you were a kid? Like the early stuff, like first, second season stuff. Doesn't that look like... I want to say Myotismon, but I know that's wrong. It's not Gatomon. It's the uh, Elvis monkey cat guy. Any of you who have seen the show will know what I'm talking about, but I'm going to just say that was completely un unintentional. But he, to be f also to be fair, is one of my favorite uh, villains from that series, so... Oh, I haven't seen that in forever. But anyway. But yeah, we got, uh... We've got the doorway that is, um... Four blocks tall. Or three and a half. And, uh... A five wide path. I think it... It's a little squish, but not too badly. It still looks like it's big enough for caravans and uh, wagons and traders to come through and they will walk down this path with their wares ooh bow unenchanted oh well I can repair this other unenchanted bow with this so and they'll come here and this is our little uh, trade depot and um, a YouTuber I've been watching for a while uh, by the name of Archmage Melek has been doing uh, an LP of a game called Dwarf Fortress. Um, if you 
don't know what that is. It's um, it's a kind of Sim City kind of thing, but not. It's like it's like Fantasy Sim City. And uh, I definitely recommend watching because it it's funny, and I I'm a fan of uh, Melek, of course, uh, obviously. So, but. Uh, one of the things they have in Dwarf Fortress is they have a trade depot, which I'm going to be adding to my um, city, and I've added it here. Now, I'm going to... where's my cobble? Here's my cobble. I'm going to rough this up a little bit, and actually I'm going to make a design first. I'm thinking about placing pillars here actually I can do that right now at least place the uh, beginners see what I feel about it yeah I actually think that I was afraid it might uh, feel congested and yes, I used half slabs because I'm cheap. I was a little afraid that uh, this area here would feel very small and uh, congested, but it actually... It actually feels very spacious. Now what kind of area am I doing? One, two, th so I'm dealing with a five by five, which actually, well, the the area inside the uh, smooth stone slab stairs is a five by five. So this is the area where the traders will basically set up shop. They would probably park their uh, their wagons here and just lay their supplies out. So it's probably going to be a little more worn not in as best a condition so it's probably gonna have a little a mix between smooth stone and cobble and I just kinda randomly throw it together not really have a pattern at all Nope. There. It looks like it's been worn. Like you can definitely see. Like there's a there's a de uh, not depressions, but uh, wear from uh, wears <laughs> being placed and moved and shuffled around and people standing and bartering and yeah I think that looks really good might uh, even it out because it's feeling very there there we go that makes it look better there's still like walkways that look like they've gotten high traffic but it also doesn't look like this side is like unworn and this side is worn to hell so now in Dwarf Fortress you usually build uh, your fortress underground and so your trade depot is underground away from the elements we do not have such such luxuries we are out in the open so I want to make a uh, not necessarily a roof but at least a uh, structure some sort of uh, I think I'm gonna make a tent actually so to that'll be four tall that actually I don't think that's gonna give me one, two, three, four, five. 
two, six tall. Actually, yeah, that makes sense because that's six meters tall. Yeah, that works. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Fall damage. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nope, didn't even attempt that. One, two, three, four, five. They should all be the same height. That one is not. Damn it. All right. So while I'm building this, hmm. Yeah, that looks really nice. So, hmm, I'm thinking, yeah, yeah, I think that's what I will do. I've got a ton of this green wool, it'll actually look pretty good, I think. But, um, I guess I'm going to kind of base this a little bit off uh, army tents and, uh, because uh, something I guess I haven't never told you guys about me is I'm a, I'm a what you would call an army brat. <laughs> um... For those of you, for those of you who are unfamiliar with that term, it's essentially army brats are uh, kids of military personnel. Um, and they just call them army brats. Hmm. I think I'm gonna extend it out and maybe attach fences. Yeah, the fences will look nice. I'm going to need some dirt to pillar up, though. Um, and there are a lot of um, things that come with being an army brat. Um, uh, one of the things is you don't... Um, Like, a lot of people have, um, that friend that they've had since kindergarten. When you become an army brat, you kind of lo you lose that. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to rise it up, and then I'm going to have it sink down. No, don't do that. Okay. So it, mm, you kind of you you learn to live with that because hell, there's not really too much you can do about it. Oh no, I don't want it to dip down that far. Nope. Yeah. I'm still going to check, um, even though my compound, sh my compound should be completely safe. Um, uh, 
I'm not going to trust anything. But, um, I don't have a friend that I've had since, um, kindergarten. To be quite honest, I don't even remember where I went to kindergarten. Um. There. And. Put some torches there. Which doesn't make the most sense if it's a tent. But, mm, doesn't always have to make sense. You can... Yeah, I like that. Uh, I'm going to uh, go to sleep real fast. And... But when when you're oh hell I've got I've I'll use ice hell why not give me my ender pearls like a boss. Oh, right. There we go. And now it it'll look like the it looks like the tent is kind of caving in because of rainfall and whatnot. Let me go get some fences. But yeah, uh, when you're when you're an army brat, you don't. Oh, one of the things that often happens is you uh, move around a lot. Um, oh wait, I have I have more than enough fences. I need to make an all fence project. All fences all the time. Just for shits and giggles. Give it a little extra support. There. I like that. It's very, very simple, very basic, but it looks, looks very nice. Um, let's see. What's the light level down here? actually fairly good. I'm gonna throw some torches here just to have some something I could do actually instead of placing torches there do I still? No, I don't have it in my inventory but I could No, I didn't want that. Um, where did I drop it? There we go. I could uh, put a pe a piece of uh, glowstone. Oh God! Don't do weird things like that, keyboard. Yeah, I like that. Uh, 
it's... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that, to be quite honest. Hmm. Uh, one thing that I uh, probably should say is I'm not I'm not interested in having a um, no torches uh, compound. I don't need that. I'm I don't mind having torches all around the place. Yeah, if you can do but if you can do better lighting then yeah, I'd go ahead and do it. But there there are some I would I would only do that if I'm looking for a challenge and I'm built building is enough of a challenge for me, so I'm going to just stick with that. I want to add something to this, but I don't know what. I don't know. But, one thing I can add, and I think I will, is some, uh, excuse me. Some goods. Let's have a few bit of this also. Like we have some uh, visitors from uh, faraway places. Um. Just kind of stack it on. There. They have uh, their uh, pile. Let me take that out because it's getting a little bit close to the light. And what do we have for trade? Well, they're from far away places. I don't know, I'm just kind of throwing stuff together, see how it looks. It's a doll of some sort. Why did you put those there? You knew they weren't going to attach. You stupid. Um... Actually, I don't know. It's kind of hard to build something uh, interesting looking. Why don't we just throw in a stack of uh, stone bricks? Yeah. So you would... Essentially what you would see is you'd see one guy here saying, I'll give you 
I I'll give you 20 bricks for some of that weird reddish rock. And I'll give you 10 for the uh, red brick. And you'd see the guy on the other end going, no way. I'll give you, make it 6 for the red rock and 12 for the brick. And just conversing back and forth. Hopefully we have some better trade than just stone brick, but... Meh. That's that is our cheapish goods. We keep the really good stuff back at the uh, at the master's cabin. Yeah, uh, just I'm just keeping uh, resources here because I can. Um. But yeah, that's a little. A little compound, or not a little compound, a, a little, um, what's the word, uh, trade depot, trade depot, and it, I think it looks very nice, it's, it's a very simple construction, but I want it to be, I don't want, the goal with this project is to keep things simple. But where aesthetically, I want things to be simple. I want the complexities to come from the um, from the details. Like that is a very simple design, but it looks very good and it looks very detailed. You add the water behind it, it has a lot of life to it. Like, look over there. It's, it catches your eye. It's like, huh? As opposed to that wall, which still looks very nice, but it's, it's very bland and boring in comparison. And, hmm. But anyway, I, I guess I never finished uh, what I was talking about army brats and whatnot. Yeah, it's I moved around a lot when I was a kid. I don't. Let me see. How old was I? By the time I was in third grade. I had moved at least five or six times in living memory alone. Um, once I got into third grade, I kind of set my family kind of settled down on one spot, and uh, oh boy, I could take him out without even take with maybe taking a heart of damage if I was messing around but um, yeah it was real you um, I was like going with that oh, yeah it's you definitely lose something when uh, you don't have uh, that uh, lifelong friend um, but I think you do gain something because at a young age I did a lot of uh, traveling and I've heard many different ideas and thoughts about the world um, whereas if I had stayed in one spot I would have I would have a very... That looks kind of bad. I do have my netherrack on me still. What he's doing is he's basically making his uh, supply look better from this angle. He still has a lot of this and we know it, but 
He wants to make us think that he's got a fair amount of that as well. Cheeky git. But yeah, I, I've been... Let's see... Let me actually get another project started if I'm going to continue talking. Um, where did I put it all? Oh, right, I put it downstairs. Like I should. But... You, um... Let's see, I've... I lived in Maryland for a while. Um... I gotta get rid of some crap in my inventory. Sand. Sand's technically not crap, but it's, uh... Not an item I want I mean, on my person right at the moment. Oh, my other world's chest. Throw a netherrack in there. Uh, I've been meaning to organize, but it's just difficult. But, uh, I lived in Maryland for a little while. For a couple years. Actually, lived in two different places in Maryland. I'm not 100% sure where, exactly. But, I'm going to build a, um... I guess I can build a little, uh... This is going to be more of a walking path, so it's going to be uh, a mixture of dirt and gravel. Probably make it... And actually, you know what? Hell. We'll make it all gravel. That way it blends right in, but it's... It's also smaller, so it goes right here. We'll uh, make a little pathway. To uh, my cabin. Let's see, I lived in Maryland. Went to two different schools in Maryland. One was... Oh, I don't even know the places. I was too young. Um, there we go. No! Uh, then moved to, uh, Iowa, one part of Iowa, lived there for a year, I think, then we moved and that, and the place we lived in Iowa, I literally lived in the middle of nowhere. Like, Oh god, no. That's not what I wanted. Sorry, Bam. It's in the way. Shut up. Uh, string, get out of here. Nether brick. Okay. So yeah, we got we got a little pathway here. Nothing too fancy or extravagant. It leads right to my front door. But yeah, literally, that part of Iowa, that house I lived in Iowa was in the middle of nowhere. Like, you literally saw 
nothing. Like, that bit of civilization didn't even get that. It was literally like looking out if I can move faster. It was literally like looking down that way all the way to the horizon line 360 you were lucky if you saw a tree um... yeah it's that was really really interesting to say the least but um... I honestly don't know what I also don't know what else to work on. I mean I've got the walls built. I've got um comp the uh trade depot. And if you guys have any ideas on how I can change the trade depot uh to make it uh better or cooler or anything like that, f feel free to say so in the comments. Uh, I'm definitely it I feel it needs something but I don't know what exactly I actually kind of built a lot of that on the fly usually I uh, build things um, I have them pre-built Let's see. Anything I can do to spruce them up? Spruce it up. Is that transition weird? It is. A few rocks and pebbles are gonna get stuck in the wheels or get kicked and they're but mostly once you get into the depot it's going to be a little cleaner but i think that's going to be the end of this episode guys i i feel it's about normal length for me maybe a little short maybe a little long i'm horrible at judging the the time so but i want to thank you guys uh for watching as always world save going off Um, I think next episode we're going to be going, uh, back over to the mountain, and, uh, we're going to be, uh, putting in a, um, we're going to be putting in another monument into the mountains. Um, this one I've been debating over myself, that's why I haven't been putting a monument in for a while. Because I don't know if I should or not. But, um... I want to thank you guys for watching. Any any ideas that you have for my builds are are always heard, always listened to. I l any bit, anything that can spark my creativity. And... Tell me what you think of what I've done so far. If you think it's the dumbest thing you've ever seen, feel free to say so. If you think it's amazing, well, I will happen to agree with you, and you should feel free to say that as well, because... Well... I think it is amazing. <laughs> I mean, what else can I uh, say? Well, yeah, it's de it's definitely appreciated to uh, hear from someone else that this is really that you've done a decent job. But um, with that, watching as the sun sets, and I will say to you all, goodbye.